What is going on you guys and welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're gonna make the scan effect in LumaFusion and that's basically when you are scanning a subject or scanning an object and it looks something like this. Now before we move over to the iPad to start making this awesome scan effect, you know that we have had a giveaway as well. Now this giveaway was 30 subscriptions of the Mawio Audio Enhancer and it was a GoPro Hero 5 Black uh, film kit or starter kit bundle with uh, a lot of accessories. I reckon 100, 150 types of different, different types of accessories, yes. And um, uh, the giveaway is over, so it's time to select a winner, especially for the GoPro Hero 5 Black. And for the Mawio Audio Enhancer app, for all of those which uh, sent over your emails, registered on the website and followed the steps there, there as well, all of you have had your emails sent over to Akisono, so it's all up to them to decide if you won or not and which type of plan. Now before we select the winner of the GoPro Hero 5 bundle, let's jump over to the iPad and uh, create this amazing scan effect. Now once we get over to the iPad and over to LumaFusion, we have the selected clips on the timeline. We're gonna make an effect to this as well as this. The only difference between these two is that for this one, we're gonna use a chroma key to sort of mask out the car. Now first we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna make an in and out point of where we want the effect to be. So we want it to start here and I'm gonna go to this point and make a cut. And now we have the selected clip which we want to apply the effect to. The next thing we're gonna do is to simply duplicate this. We're gonna go over to the uh, eye here and hide track one, simply because it makes it easier to do the chroma keying to mask out the car. The next thing is to go into edit on this clip on track two, over to color and effects. We're gonna go over to the keyhole here and choose a green screen key. The next thing we're gonna do is to change the hue to max here and we sort of gonna mask out everything around here except for the car. And a tip is to go into the color here and simply tap around here until you're happy with the masking. So I think around here should be good. So we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna go over to frame and fit here and we're gonna go down to blending. You're gonna select a blending screen. You're gonna go out to the timeline and we can now enable the clip on track one. As you can see, we have some changes in the exposure of the car and that is simply because of the uh, screen mode. The next thing we're gonna do now is to go into edit on the clip again. We're gonna go over to uh, color and effects, over to the four squares on the top here and we're gonna choose color edges and we're gonna enable it so we make it visible. Take the intensity to 10 and keep the blending on the zero. Now, if we toggle this on and off, you can see that we get the color of the car back and it basically highlights the edges of the car and all the edges which is around here in the surroundings. But since we did the chroma keying here, it doesn't affect the entire screen. The next thing we're gonna do is to go over to the color panel up here and we're gonna add an original. I'm gonna go straight down to tint. I'm gonna change the tint to turquoise and uh, we're gonna move down to hue. We can see if we can change the hue here. You can make it pink, you can make it turquoise, blue, whatever color you want, you can do that as well. Now it's a little bit hard to see, so we can actually go over to the chroma key here and hide the chroma key, which makes it a lot easier to uh, see the colors which is around the car. You can also do another thing and you can hide the track one here, go into the clip again and it's now easier to play around with the colors. So what we wanna do is to actually make sure that we have uh, uh, proper visible lines to the car here, something like that. We can also play around with the RGB panel here to make them a little bit stronger. Like that. 
can also see if there's anything else we can do to make it more visible. The saturation can be jumped up and that we can do the levels to make it a little bit brighter. So we have something like that, something like that. And once we are happy with the colors here, we can enable the chroma key. We can go out to the timeline, enable the clip on track number one. And you can see right away now that we have some visible lines around the car. The next thing I want to add as well is uh, some uh, some sort of a glow to it. So we're going to go over to the four squares here and we're going to find bloom big. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to take the intensity to one. And I'm simply going to add just a tiny bit of uh, radius here, something like three. And uh, once we scrub through here, you can see that this is following the car, which is exactly what we want. The next thing we're going to do is to go over to uh, frame and fit here and over to cropping because we want this to sort of scan the car, not follow the car. We're going to take the left, top, right and bottom crop here. And we're simply going to place this just outside of the car. Go to the beginning of the clip, make a keyframe. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to change the edge softness to around 15 to kind of even out the edges around the uh, cropped lines. Next thing is to go to the end and we're going to move this crop box here to the other side. But we're also going to increase the top and bottom crop here so it kind of matches the height of the car. We can also take this a little bit further to the left if we want to do that. And let's scrub through here and you can see that the scanning is sort of following the car here. Now, I think this color looks all right, so I'm just going to keep that. And as we scrub through here, you can see the scanning is going on there. But we want it to be a little bit stronger. So the next thing we're going to do is to simply duplicate this one more time. Place it above, since this has the blending mode of screen, we can actually stack them to make the effects more visible. It's going to do that again. And it's all up to you how many times you want to stack this to get a visible effect. Now we stacked it three times and it's quite decent when it comes to the visibility of the effect. Let's do that one more time. Now, keep in mind, the more layers with a lot of effects you stack, the more likely LumaFusion is to crash as well. So keep in mind that you don't want to stack too many layers of, uh, uh, of video, especially 4K video, which has a lot of effects to them. So now let's uh, try to do a playback here so we can see the first effect. The next thing is uh, this one, and it's basically the same effect. Let's go on and just make two cuts here. I'm gonna duplicate this. Then we're gonna go straight into edit on the clip because we don't need to do any chroma keying. The next thing is to go over to color and effects. I'm gonna go straight over to the four squares and over to color edges. Now we're gonna enable this again. I'm gonna take the intensity up to 10 and keep the blending on zero. The next thing is to add some colors to it and change the colors. So we're going to go to the color panel, go to original, and we're going to go down to uh, tint. I'm going to choose turquoise again, and I'm going to play around with the gamma here just to get the point where I have the uh, colors visible. So it's easier to work with and that uh, you can add multiple colors if you want to do that, or you can just keep it at the normal color here. So we're going to keep it like that. Just increase some of the colors here to get it to be more visible. Like that. And uh, go over to saturation. I can actually take saturation and vibrance. Take it a little bit down here, maybe something like that. Over to the levels and push it up towards the highlight side. So now we have the um, lines, which we want. We can take the gamma a little bit back here, something like that. And uh, once we've done that, we're going to go over to the uh, frame and fit here, over to blending, and we're going to choose blending mode screen. Now, once we've done that, you can see that we have the lines, but we basically don't have any animation to it. So let's go on and go over to cropping. I'm going to go to the beginning, make a keyframe, 
just going to take this all the way to the uh, right here and I'm going to crop in the top and bottom so it fits the red structure here in the middle like that. I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to move this all the way over like let's see here like that and I'm going to go to the middle because as we go into the middle now you can see that the crop is so small so we need to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go to the middle here and I'm just going to push the left a little bit to the left and right a little bit to the right. So we have something like that. The next thing we need to do is to take the edge softness as well. So again, around 15 ish. Make sure that we have 15 on all keyframes here. Perfect. So as we scrub through now, you can barely see the effect but we need to do the stacking again. So again, we're gonna duplicate this, place it above, duplicate again, place above, and you can now see that the effect is a lot more visible. One more time. And here we have the effect. Now, if it's not looking that great right away, you can just disable some of the uh, clips here so you prevent any crashes. Go into edit, and you can go over to the uh, color and effects panel here. You can go over to the uh, original color presets and you can also push the gamma back here if you wanna do that. And you can simply just play around with the settings. We can also add the gloom here to make it a little bit um, more glowy, a big bloom here. Intensity to one and radius to around three again. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is to copy the effect and just paste it on all the clips beneath it and we have a better look to the scan effect here. So there you have a super simple scan effect in Luma Fusion. Now keep in mind that you don't want to stack too many layers with effect. The more layers, the more likely Luma Fusion is to crash as well. And I experienced this quite a few times. So the tutorial took about one and a half to two hours longer than expected. So just keep that in mind when you are editing so you can keep the consistent smooth workflow as well. So now let's talk about the GoPro Hero 5 bundle. Like like I said in the giveaway video as well, the more active you have been on the channel for if it's a year or two or uh, just pushing out comments uh, and likes and, and shares and so on, the more likely you are to win. And I think honestly, that's a fair deal. I don't want anyone to jump in here, never been here before and just run away with a prize. I want those of you which are here for a long time, which has been here for a long time, which is actually pushing me to make these videos and encouraging me to to make better content and to come with ideas and so on i want you to win the prize because you are pushing me uh, to to kind of unfold myself and to um, to come up with the different ideas so it's kind of my treat and, and my give back to to you as a supporter and i think that is a fair deal i honestly think that is um, one of the main rules which uh, a YouTuber which is doing a giveaway should have. So as long as you are uh, like a supporter which is there in good and bad and, and supporting, then uh, you should have a fair chance of winning. Now that's exactly what I've gone through and, and checked and, and all of that. And the winner of the GoPro Hero 5 Black is Baltic Boy Wandering. Now he has been here for a very long time and uh, I truly appreciate your support. Now I will be emailing you and I will be shipping this out to you as soon as possible. Now when it comes to the giveaway and if you didn't win, don't worry, there will be giveaways coming very soon as well. Like I mentioned in the, uh, in the, the giveaway video, the DJI Osmo Action, no, 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 wrong, sorry, maybe I have Osmo Action as well, but the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 is coming soon as well. So DJI Osmo Mobile 3, a gimbal for a smartphone. If you're interested in that, stay tuned and make sure to be active as well if you want a chance to win this in the future. Now with that said, that's the end of the video as well. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and um, 
Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this uh, scan effect. Now, if you upload this to Instagram, make sure to tag me so I can check it out and give it a like, like I always do to your videos or photos, which you are tagging me in. Now, with that said, thanks for watching and I see you guys in the next video.